almost like somebody pleading with uh, somebody pleading for maybe the past not not anything in speci- not anything specifically but if you can imagine somebody who's uh, living in the past wishing to return to the past but for some reason is you know something like that, that that's all so. just another thing about improvisation uh, I like how you uh, follow the you know chord scales mm-hmm. and I can really tell that you're aware of everything that's happening harmonically there but I would suggest maybe try to add a little more chromaticism oh, yes. you know in terms of you know embellishing encircling chord tones you know, approaching them, you know, one or two chromatic notes from above or below. You know, try to go places, try to explore a little more of those chord scales. Okay. You know, otherwise, uh, you risk to sound a little like, you know, going up and down the scale. Right. So you are playing the right notes, but now it's time for you to move on to the next step, which is uh, actually making more curves in your phrasing. Thank you. Carrie, I feel that you are a true performer and your emotion comes out when you play. And I really appreciate you being a musician that shows emotion. And you are an actor. Thank you. Amir? I wanted to just uh, take you to the right piece of music. Um, that's a good question. Um, I the, the melody itself doesn't necessarily take a, a long time. The chords that you choose behind it, it's sort of, it can take as long as you want it, depending on how complicated you want to make it. And then, and also, when you play with people, some final details write themselves, write, write themselves. When you, uh, yeah, like when we were playing with uh, Dr. Ballard, um, the soprano, like using the soprano, for example, is one of the things that wasn't necessarily um, a given up front or, you know, things like instrumentation will affect some things. And then even the vamp, how we did it in between every chorus, um, uh, that was more of something that just happened while we were playing. We were like, oh, this would be nice to fit in here. So it never necessarily completely wrote itself until we finished, but the melody itself didn't take uh, very long, like a couple hours as far as melody and chorus. So Carrie, how long all together with the HR piece did you take? I mean, I mean it, once you decided the progression you wanted, the chords you wanted to use, how long did it take you to look at the real thing? I, I know what you mean when you say you do it in advance to change the mm-hmm. format a little bit, but how long did it just wait for you to, well, long did it take for you to organize your ideas when you thought that there was something that you could use? I guess um, an hour. Well, we work together a lot, but a lot of the students don't realize that Carol is writing a bunch of stuff. He's experimenting. The, the major word we talk about a lot is experimentation. And he's writing a bunch of stuff. He's trying as many things as, as much as he possibly can. So it might seem like he threw it together at least just an hour. But he's putting together thoughts that he's been working on for quite some time. Mm-hmm. I thought it was very nice, man. I, I applaud your action and, and, and the desire to be to be creative, first mm-hmm. off. Because, I mean, that's what we're really, really hoping for with all of you to start with it anyway, mm-hmm. is that to get that, to ignite that spark of creativity, to give you some notion of, oh, I want to do this. I, I, I have this to say, whether it's performing or whether it's a composition. So thank you very much. I thought it was, I thought it would be very nice to put it. Congratulations on proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> and you have to write one piece for me. Okay. You really made me want to play, you know, soon. You really good job, right? Thank you. Um, some details, you know. Do you want to be like a regular bass player on stage or do you want to take more charge as a composer or one out of three? I guess in this one, mm-hmm. I didn't necessarily want to uh, mm-hmm take charge here. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess it depends on how much I, uh, here I wanted to have sort of control over what would happen, but especially with the way I titled the piece, um, I wanted the, the melody to stick out the most, mm-hmm. and I felt like the way for me to do that would be to have the 
talk about be the center of. Uh, totally makes sense, and also the reason I'm asking is because it's really perfect ensemble, right? Um, Dr. Ballard did something, maybe you guys, and then you guys have duet going on, duet again, right? But I don't know, maybe you might want to think about your, uh, where you want to locate, actually, you know? Yes, Even for the musicians and for the audience, too, right? Mm -hmm. And um, speaking of the ensemble, did you notice what Dr. Ballard was doing? I really loved it, actually. And he but the lot of, each time he did it differently, did you notice? Yes. Did you react each time differently to his performance? To accompany him? Um, so I try to uh, sometimes like catch uh, what was going on, sort of. So. Yeah, I think you can do a little more for Dr. Ballard, mm -hmm. like you did with the pianist. Mm -hmm. You did really like together, right? Yeah. But I think sometimes your uh, attention was not really there when Dr. Ballard was doing right. really beautifully because it's many times, four times, five times, six times, whatever, right? As bass player, we react to them, right? Very right. sensitively. That would be even because it's such a great work. You want to do great performance, right. uh, not only great, perfect one, right? right? And you know, this was one of the performance I felt the most dynamics. I don't know if you guys talked about it or rehearsed that way, or it was just paying attention, right? Do even more, right? Because you yes. have some bass line that is going with them too, right? One thing is a cellist, right? And that uh, that's what I'm trying to teach you to. Done. way too much working, too mm -hmm. much tension, right? Yes. That's just like you're playing acoustic one, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think it was a great performance, Thank really. You. Good job. Thank you. Awesome. So I have a question. I don't know very much about your instruments. Why did you get to select that? This is an electric upright, so um, it's basically the setup of an upright bass without um, actually being uh, right it doesn't need the whole body to resonate so but do you still have the end pin yes uh reason not using it using not re using i mean reason not using it or oh i just i was packing it up okay I, I, I think even it. more because you know your thumb was really like oh, yeah. lifting it almost right oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so. <laughs> 